hi guys welcome back to the channel i just want to come over here and just give y'all like a brief a brief brief video today and if you read the title it's definitely the things i hate about being a server and i've been serving now for about 10 years and uh it's bittersweet. It has its pros and it has its cons. It has its ups and it has its downs. And a lot of it is down, but a lot of it is ups too. But I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a go into details and tell y'all what I mean. But um, the number one thing, I, I'm just gonna jump right into this video, y'all. Oh my God. Hold on, y'all, cause, oh, he ain't about to come in, okay. So uh, number one I hate about being a server is, and I'm pretty sure this is a lot of server, like they can agree with me when I say this, is customers, it, no matter how good you are to them, they'll still be mean and rude to you. Like I hate rude customers. I hate when you can just do the best you can to their table, greet them be on time y'all i'm at work by the way and everything if i stop this video and i come back later then you understand but i'm at work okay and i'm just making this because i'm not i listen it's slow right now so i'm not even doing anything at this moment but anyways that's um, why i hate that as a server number two about what i hate as a server is the employees that you just do not get along with baby okay Cause everybody's not your friend okay and that's why you don't come to work making friends as fast as i can so do not think that i'm your friend because friends turn on you and i just do not like having those people or those companions around me if we're not elevating okay let's talk about elevation Okay guys, so um today's a new day. I want to finish talking about the things I hate about being a server. And um yeah, so basically I hate the ignorance from people and that's customers. Basically just being in the servant industry, you get to deal with a lot of disrespect from people and you know no matter how good you are no matter how um you know quick you are on your feet you know you come and greet them with the utmost respect and they still have a problem with you and they won't even tip the nine tippers so you know it all comes into play with that um Another thing is that I just absolutely hate about serving <laughs> is when the cooks don't cook their food right. Yeah, when the cooks don't cook their food, um, just say if, you know, I work in a fast food restaurant dealing with like wings, fries, burgers, street tacos, um, if they don't cook it or they leave it on too long, the chicken get hard, you know, the fries may be hard, you know. And if I see that, I want them to recook it again, but then the customers are upset because the food is taking too long. So then it's on us also because it's like, well, um, it's, it's kind of back on us as the servers because the customers are upset about it and then their tip, you know, you bring them their ticket for them to pay and they won't even leave a, leave a tip. So the cooks has a big part about your tip and everything. So um, just make sure you go to or have a restaurant that you go to and you make sure, you know, I mean, mistakes happen, you know, and nobody's perfect either, you know, cause you know, people have bad days, you know, but those bad days can affect your check. Um, another thing is that I just do not like as a server and 
you know and like i said we have our slow days in our in the restaurant we definitely have our slow days um so there's nothing i can really control about that because i could say slow days but every restaurant has their slow days every restaurant has their fast days you know it's always up and down with restaurants and everything so yeah that's one of them um another thing is drama i cannot stand drama y'all absolutely cannot stand the drama right with between employees that come in customers come in bringing their drama from outside onto us like seriously it is not that deep like people need to keep their own personal lives outside the restaurant because we're humans too like you know what i'm saying and their drama can affect our pay and our tips you know because we only get paid like 250 an hour and then we really like solely make money off tips you know and also the non-tippers let's talk about the non-tippers okay let's say i came in and served a party of six to ten people and it's on one ticket right and let's say they order a lot of alcoholic beverages and their tip came their check came up to be about 150 200 250 in that range and they only tip like seven or eight dollars service is good um, you show good hospitality, you know, just like I said, like it, it this servant industry is, it's a lot. It is a lot. And you come to work every day dealing with simple minded people, people who just come in just to eat and not thinking about serving. Now for me, when I go out to eat, even if the service was bad, I make sure I tip, I leave something. I have to, and if my check is over 50, I'll leave a 20. If I, my check is like 100, I'll leave a 30. You know what I'm saying? It, you really, and I really want people to understand that this concept, when you go out to a restaurant and you eat, and if you do not have the money to tip, go to the, I, and I'm not even gonna say go to the bar, because the bar, you have to tip bartenders too, you know, but just go home like stay home stay home because we this is how we make our money this is how we make our living and if you're being rude nasty and disrespectful to your server and they're showing you the utmost respect and you you can't even show them respect in return please stay home because nobody got time for that your rude attitude your nastiness your funk babies please stay home okay because all I try and do is be a peacemaker to people when they come in, you know, because people come like my co-workers come to work, some of them as like a safe haven because they're leaving their lives and basically coming into the work facility to just, you know, and then, you know, we have customers like y'all that come in and you just be nasty and rude to us. Like, no, like, I'm gonna do another video though about the pros to being a server because there are cons. These are the cons. Um, I'm, I was just giving y'all the cons and everything, but there are really some great things about serving. I promise you, like, there are some great benefits there. There are some positivity factors to serve in so um yeah so i hope y'all enjoyed this short video about the things i dislike about serving and i hope that i catch you guys on the next video